To win at Indy, you need more than just speed, skill, and raw talent. To win at Indy, you need to know how to play the game and when to play by your own rules. So how did a rookie driving on only his second oval and first speedway ever defeat a field of legendary drivers and former champions? It all started with a mistake. Wait, wait, wait. What just happened? The old guy couldn't get plugged in. With a fast car, a focused driver, and an experienced team, it was a mistake they felt they could overcome. 132 laps to go here, Alan. You're P20 right now. You got a fast race car. You're doing a great job. You're going to be all right. But trying to overcome adversity on the fly is hard enough. It's a whole other ball game when adversity doubles down. Wait, wait, wait. We got a problem. We got some kind of equipment problem here. We're going to change the whole fuel rig here. The second disastrous pit stop should have been too much to overcome. But fate had yet to play her hand. We've got a problem in turn number two. Oh, we've got one car around. It's Michaela Lotion, and Connor Daly got tagged as well. Caution on the course here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Although Alex just logged the fastest lap of the race, his team realized they wouldn't have enough time to get out front. This may be the only shot we get to gamble. We're going to take it. We're going to roll our dice right now. we got a few laps of fuel on them, and we're going to try and get you on the front, get you some clean air. Rossi did not pit. He stayed on the track and moved into first position. There's Rossi in the 98. Right now, we're racing to win this thing. We need to start getting some killer mileage. Now, Alex and the team had to focus on fuel economy. The dilemma? What was the number needed to finish the race on one less stop? So what's our new number there? 4.35 with no lap windows. That's the number. Keep doing that. To help him achieve that number, Alex drafted off his teammates Townsend Bell and Ryan Hunter Ray, who were a lap down. You're the leader. P1. Just sit there and stay fueled. But then Sato brushed the wall. Yellow on the track. Car on the wall. Yellow, yellow, yellow. The yellow forced her to into a make or break gambit. Eight gallons in the car. Pit this lap. Pit, pit, pit. Rossi would come into the pits for the last time. Fuel target 4.71. If you make 4.71, we make the finish. I know, just do the best you can. I'm giving you the number, you just do what you can do. The longest stint they had gone without a pit stop was 31 laps. They needed to go 36. How many laps can we go? We will run out on 199. With two laps to go, they had 0.65 gallons left. Enough for one lap. Fuel pressure starting to drop. Alexander Rossi in the turn number four on fuel. Oh, 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 oh. Clutch it, clutch it, clutch it. I'm out of fuel, guys. Alex made it across the finish line without the engine running. You just won the Indy 500, baby! Alex, you are the champ. Number 100, baby. To be a champion at Indy, you need to make all the right moves. And if you do, the game has changed forever.